carried out these kinds of actions. Tracy and I had just had our, our uh, first daughter and uh, we needed something to uh, sustain us. Um, I didn't feel like I, I was part of anything to be proud of and them being proud of me, it made, just made me feel so fucking terrible. Just thinking about, about those, those incidents, those incidences with those, those people that we, we fucked up, that comes back to me, that, that shame. What you have are this, um, this large group of people with military sexual trauma and um, they get out of the military, they're veterans, but they don't feel like veterans and they don't feel as if they're a part of the whole rest of the military. So there's a lot of people getting deployed. We got a lot of people that are getting stop lost. A lot of the services we provide, the links that we provide, be it um, GI rights counseling, which I believe myself, Josh, Michael, all, all of us, that, all the vets that staff the place have all been trained. Like I have a buddy that had no idea that there was actually soldiers that did this. He was like really depressed. And uh, he's like, no, nah, you know, it's a coffee shop, right? And I was like, no, man, it's actually cool. Cause I was talking to him and he's like, I feel worthless. And I don't feel like I, there's no way for me to express how I feel about what happened in Iraq. I was like, dude, yeah, there is totally. And so I brought him there and at, at the end of it, he was like really thankful. He's like, you know what? You just gave me hope in something, you know? So not only like are these people actually like actively doing something in opposition to the, of Iraq and Afghanistan, but they're also in a sense, possibly saving other soldiers' lives by showing them that they don't have to wallow in misery and be alone at all times. There's multiple people out there that really do care.